the the small little orange things that fly out are the heat guys. Like, I mean, where's an Eximus? Right here. Okay, right, heat-based attack in auras. Arson Eximus. Look at that. That's the little orange thing that flies out. Cold-based attacks in auras. Electric-based attacks in auras. It's heat, electric, and cold. Eximus. You know, Zep shields and energy and swipe a portion of health as well if the shields are low. Almost like it's a flat damage. I'm guessing that if you play solo or you play defensively, it's probably triggering it if it even exists and it isn't some sort of lag problem. It's a lot higher than when engaging the enemy early, etc. Sort of wonder if you can end up not being able to spot it as well if you lag towards the host. Since it's just a tiny particle effect or that it can be cast and then... I would place my bet on sniper. It wasn't snipers because we were inside her shield. There's no way it was the snipers. I have found the problem now, but what I did was just playing Grenier missions. Nothing more to is sometimes with a friend and sometimes alone. It made them impossible to complete, but it was a bug in the game that made them drain the whole time, even if I wasn't close to them. Mm, at least that is just lag. See, it. I don't get how it's lag because maybe... Okay, maybe it is lag. Because we are playing on on you, you know what I mean? And you do lag. So maybe it is lag. But if that's a bug in the game, I'm throwing my things down and they're going down just fine. But then it's like doubling and tripling the energy cost because they're going down improperly. That's a problem. That is a big problem. You know what I mean? So if lag is the problem, then that is a big problem. And they need to fix that, in in my opinion, or maybe they can't fix it. If they can't fix it, maybe they should release a thing saying they can't fix it. Or if they can fix it, or they just haven't done it, they, they might need to get on that. Because that is definitely a, a nightmare problem. Like, that is nightmare mode levels of gameplay. Like, there, there are... Um, there are nightmare mode missions that are that hard that they drain your energy constantly, but that really sucks. And being as I couldn't finish that in the last mission, we are actually going to go ahead and leave the squad because we currently have a level up thing available and we are going to go to a relay and we are going to find out what I need to do to rank up. So we'll see that in just a little bit. The last one was dodging lasers, so it wasn't terrible. This one, hopefully, it's something a little bit easier. All right, we're here in the relay. Hopefully, this is the easy one because I don't, I don't like the fire one. Okay, it looks like the easy one. The frost one. The fire one. I've only, I've only been in there once, and it confused the living daylights out of me. If it's a speed thing, I, I know I have a frame that can handle it. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Practice. Because we don't do this without practicing because we've done that before and it shuts us out for 24 hours. Your Warframe's movement abilities are key to this challenge. Oh. Defeat all the enemies before the ground completely falls away. Oh no. Oh no. Can I go up here? Nope. Okay. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, okay. I have a Warframe that I think would be perfect for this. And I just finished using her and you guys missed, I think, almost all of the gameplay with her. Or all of it. But I just used, I just finished her. Equipment, arsenal. Give me back my Zephyr. Also, give me back my Astilla for this because I'm definitely going to need 
a weapon with one-shot capabilities. And this has one-shot capabilities on these fools. So, she falls slower and has much farther air travel, so let's do this. On top of that, she can actually jump up into the air and not be on a thing, so... Let's find out if we can do this. Your Warframe's movement abilities are key to this challenge. Defeat all the enemies before the ground completely falls away. Oh, man, come on. That's fast. Okay, so I could do it. It's just a matter of a formidable performance of like this staying calm and doing it. Complete. I don't I I still think that the Astilla is pretty much the best weapon for this because both bows you have to draw them and the sniper it's best to actually take a shot. Like aim and take a shot. So and the Astilla has such a, a large magazine I can actually afford to spray like that. So we're going to go ahead and qualify. If I fail, I fail. I'll have to wait 24 hours. Hopefully I don't fail. Wish me luck. We're going in right now. Your Warframe's movement okay, so those two... Are key okay, so there's challenge. the one that's really high. Defeat all the enemies before the ground completely falls away. <laughs> This one's high. And then we've got this one. We might want to move. Fourteen. Where? Got it. Thank you, Zephyr, for falling really, really slow. <laughs> a formidable performance. This test is now complete. That one's a little tough. Not gonna lie. Whew. All right, Master Rank 13. That is one rank away from almost every weapon, I believe. I believe Rank 14 allows you to have every weapon in the game. Achievement get Hunter! Whoop, whoop. Look at that. Mastery rank 13 now. Thank you, game. Woof. That was a little tense. I, I did have three tries, so I could have flopped that first time around. But I don't know how the platforms disappear. So that could have ended poorly. 
So, I don't really know what we're going to do for the rest of these episodes. For the rest of this episode. But we're going to go ahead and go back to Valbon because Valbon's a beast and I don't have any other Warframes to level up. And uh, we need to do that again, that uh, survival again. Except we'll go do a later Please survival. Leave. Screw that. Please return covered in blood. Save like, answer. give me a... What's this? Do we have, do we have, okay, you know what? Okay, I'll show you what I'm looking for. Universe. Mods. Lockup. For you guys, I don't know if you guys actually saw that fourth thing, but we actually locked up there. Shotgun ammo mutation. It is a lot of survivals. So. I only have two more survivals to completely, to actually discover. And they're on... Um, I believe they're on planets that I haven't been to yet. Or not planets I haven't been to, but like I don't know, let me see. There's a few things that like, I think like on Sedna, I have some. Yeah, see Sedna I haven't like done anything, so one of them is probably here. And then Hey, this guy's almost at the relay. There might be. There's another one on Pluto. In Ordis, operator? Um, Is that a pun? In the void, I there's really a couple. There's a sabotage, mm -hmm. and there's two I can't see. Mott might actually be it, because I've seen a lot of things talk about the void Mott, like completing that. So, but there's one on here. I don't remember the name of. I don't. I don't. I really don't remember the name of. But I, I do have it unlocked. Of course, I have to go back into this, and I have that. Same four second lockup. I want this mod specifically for but uh, Pluto, Huracan, and OC something. But yeah, there's there's one on Neptune that I haven't done. There's one on Pluto I haven't done. And like I said, it's probably one is in the void and one is on the other thing. Because they're not in order, obviously. But one is probably the void and one is almost guaranteed to be on that final planet. So we'll do... Uh, you want to invite me? Or do you want me to invite you? Here con Have I done that one? I have not. Oh, wait. Ex excavation? I don't want to do excavation. Oh, OC, OC. Oh. Oh, Oceanium. There we go. We can do that one. That, that's Spy. Oh, it's that. Uh, grr. OC is the only OC there is. Okay. Something's up with her, apparently. Uh. Okay, I guess we'll be back in a bit. Alright, welcome back. We're going to go into the same one. But I am going to go ahead and use Necros this time. Who obviously is my lovely combination of colors. Because um, with Necros, we can hold an area a little bit easier. And I'm not going to throw down my Oberon. Simply because he... He's really expensive. I only get three of him. It's not him. It's the specter is really expensive. And I don't have any more of those specters to create. And I don't want to lose my Oberon on a mission that I can do on my own. Keep the but I do have well this guy. Tunnel operative raids the ship for supplies. Ready? Trigger the alarm. And no, I am not going to do what you said. Alerting them. This might be easier. First, I'm going to loot. How are we going to avoid uh, alerting them when we have to literally kill them to survive? Sometimes, Operator, you make no sense at all. Alright, Kitty, come here and open these for me. Yeah, nice. Next. 
Oh well. Next. Yeah. Next. Yes. Three out of four. Hold on, guys. I'm Crap, it started without us. Your way. The first life support capsule has arrived. Activate it when your supply is low. I'm still up here. I need fast kills. Come on. I kind of figured it would do that, because defenses do that, too. I guess what I found. Yeah. Uh, guy, come on. Stop being so stupid. Get ready for a capsule. Well, here's a big room. It's only got one direction though. I don't I don't like that. Because we need a lot of enemies. So where are you at? Oh you're in that room? Why are you just standing in this room? What shots? Oh, well, we need a lot of enemies. That's why I want to find a place with multiple entrances. Heck, we're getting pretty good enemies here. You want to come out here and put your wall up here? Like, hop up here and put your wall down in a short radius here? Perfect. Am I already hearing that guy? Oh, that's you. Is that the Vectus? You don't have depleted reload yet, do you? We gotta find that and get that for you. Uh, you guys, Necros... Where did he go? Well, he's an idiot, because where he's standing. Hey, look what I found. Where he's standing is literally a dead end. Life support incoming. So, being as he's so close to it, he's like... Not allowing enemies to spawn. I also found some of this. A little bit of work and cell action. Alright, I'm back. You shoot, I'm gonna scan some guys. Remember, clats are a thing in this game. Support has arrived. 
Ah, I'm gonna throw down another one because he's an idiot. Oh, there's enemies spawning over there now. Remember, purpley green guys are mine. All the way back there. All the way in that, yeah. Back of the room. Now I know, guys, most people don't play this, like, reserved. But... It works. Tenno, prepare for life support. Like if we had four people, we could do this in a bigger, open, more open area. But having two directions to control is... It's simple, it works. The operative has just made their first discovery. Keep up the good work. We could keep an eye on, on what enemies are where. I've delivered another life support capsule. Excuse me, I, I don't know how you got in here, but kindly get them out. Break your wall. And come in here. Come in here. Okay. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Just back up. Kitty, kitty, please. Life support on the way. All right, let's go. Go out there and now drop your wall on that thing. Because as soon as you start putting your wall down, you'll be invulnerable, so... Do it now. Yep. Doesn't matter. You got people. You got a lot more than you think you did. There's at least like 15 people in here that you got. Another life support capsule is now available. Yeah, stop moving. Please, stay flipping stationary and out of my line of sight. Like, four people would actually be pretty good here, too, because four people would just be more enemies. Which means two people would be able to watch that way. And two people would be able to watch this way. There you are.
game. Look, look at that. That that should not be happening. Fix it, please. Like that, I can make them drop. Oh, let me read his abilities because we're totally safe here. Get ready his for three console. to drop additional loot. Okay, so yeah, it, it's just additional loot. This will be the last uh, one I record, and see that game? That should not be happening. I know part of that is lag, but even when I was playing Gara. Like with on my own, like people were getting in her wall through glitchy spots. And see that little energy problem I was having is gone. Because I'm not a frame that uses his abilities a lot. I like I have one ability, I've activated it, and once the enemy body is gone. Another life support capsule. Here, let me create a wall of idiots to go after that Nox. Now give me that Nox, please. Cannot complain about the accuracy of this gun when you fire into a group of enemies and decimate them. <laughs> it may have terrible accuracy. Alright, you know what we need? We need a little bit of this. We will all share in this bounty. Hold out as long as you can. That na oh, Nox is dead. Love it. Oh, one shot. Excuse me. How did you other side. Oh. Wait, did I not one shot him? <laughs> Kit gun is doing its job. Alright, I already have 7,000 credits. If we get less than 20,000, I'm going to be upset. 